Coco. Coco. Get in the pool with Ollie. Yeah, Coco. <laughs> Maybe you can get her toes wet. Oh, do you like that? Oh, who's gonna jump in first? Put his feetsies in. Get your feetsies wet, Rex. Oh, Rexy. Is it warmed up at all? Oh, yeah, it's not super cold. Let's do some pool. Let's get in the pool. Did he get in there by himself or did he just get in the pool? Rex is in the pool. Are you in the pool? Good boy. Good boy. I can drink all this. I'm never gonna get thirsty. <laughs> you can lay down and roll in it. Coco, get in the pool like Rex. It's a good height. They can step over that, I bet. Coco! <gasps> Coco's in the pool! Are you guys in the pool? They come out fully submerged and then they shake, watch the water just fly. Are you guys in the pool? <laughs> Rex is standing there drinking. I was like, what am I supposed to do in here? I've never, oh! been, I've never been in my Ollie's life. getting you wet. For somebody in there. <laughs> Ollie's getting you wet. They look, now they're standing in the hole. Oh, you got a big hole now. What are you guys doing? You're going to get wet? Get wet? Puppy's going to get wet, Poco. They're like not sure what to do. <laughs> Come on, swim around. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Swim around. Oh, you get wet. You get wet. You get swimming, like at the lake. You gotta swim. It'll be fun. All these kids. Oh, you yeah. No. You can get. Oh, here she goes. Ah, cooled off now, huh? Oh, Ollie's sitting in it. Sit all the way down, Ollie. Oh, what are you doing? Coco gets straight up. Oh, he's big boy. Can we get rid of him? Yeah, he's hanging with a friend. Huh? He's hanging with a friend. He's at the outdoor pool today. This is the first day they opened. Yeah. Rexy, sit down. Get wet. Oh, Coco. <laughs> Coco, you being weird. Coco, get back in the pool. We're still figuring it out. Once they get used to this and when they get real good and hot. Oh. Get the fruit loop over there. So you're not making them work for it, Ollie. Go get that fruit loop. <gasps> Coco's all the way in the water. Did you get your fruit loop? <gasps> oh, go girl, got your fruit loop. Good girl, got your Fruit Loops. Rexy, get in the water for your Fruit Loop. Are you in the water, puppies? Rexy, get in. It's nice in there. How's the water, puppies? Oh, there's Coco going in. Oh, that's so nice, isn't it, Coco? So nice. Rexy, go set your sister at the water. Come on. <laughs> Coco likes the water. Good girl. Rexy, let's go get. You find a stick, Rex?
We got you guys on camera. <laughs> go do something fun. Not too many rocks. Getting rocky. Let's go, go back. come back this way. Come this way. Good, Rexy. You guys are both warmed up to the water now and are having fun, staying cool. Yeah. Okay, let me see you shake. Oh yeah, there you go. Okay, let's go one more. You guys were due for a bath anyway. Hey there, good girl. Good girl. Are you waiting for Mama to come up? Are you waiting for Mama to come up, Rex? Yeah. Are you excited, aren't you? Look at Coco. Look at Coco's tail. It's just a wag, and she knows Mama's down there. We just got back from our walk. Coco knows Mama's down there. Don't you, honey? Yes, I know you're crying, you know. You're gonna ambush mama when she gets gets the door open. You got ambush mama? I hear something. Is that mama coming? Is that mama coming? No? You're waiting up above and Coco waiting down below. <laughs> yes, I know. You're ready to see Mama, aren't you? Yes. Say Mama. Say Mama. Mama. Ah! Oh, it's Get Mama. Up here, <gasps> she's been waiting so long. Oh, she's been waiting so long. Oh, she's been waiting. She about wore the carpet off the stair from her tail wagging back and forth. She could hear you. I didn't even know where I was. Oh, she just knew. How'd you? Why are you avoid me, Hi. Dear, are you happy now, Coco? Your mama upstairs. Yes. Happy times. Rexy, get the girl some space. Oh boy. Rexy, are you happy? We just got back from a walk. And we did lots of pooping and peeing. And we had some pepperonis when we got home. And we crunched in some leaves. <laughs> it's funny when there's like, they don't super, you know, like crunching through leaves because there's like a little, a little, um, I don't know what you'd call it. A little pile across the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. They'll like jump over it and stuff <laughs> sometimes. Is that your obstacle for it? But sometimes they crunch in it when they go into grass.
Okay. Say we're going to Grant Rogers to get a sander because we got the board all crooked. Nah. Right. So are we gonna see Ella? Are we gonna see Ella? Yeah, we're gonna see Ella. Ooh. Are we gonna see Ella? Here comes Daddy. I told your dad we were coming with the pup, so if we want we wanted to meet in the courtyard, we can stay for a bit. Um the exhaust really stinks on this thing. Can I shut the it garage new, door? Yeah, it needs a new catalytic converter, I think. Well yeah, we know that. Oh I need gas too. <sighs> Push that table back so it wouldn't get okay. hit by the door. <sighs> Good thing. Um, you want to get gas now or after? I don't care. So don't okay. I'm going to stop. I brought my purse, so I have. Okay. I'm just uh You're just a what? To plan out the day, and it's almost, it's 11.15 already. That's okay. No, not with all the other things we have planned. Gotten the tub texture yet either. Well, if you get that done to borrow, I'm in no rush to paint, honestly, right now. I don't want to paint this weekend. Only my nails. That's the only thing I want to paint this weekend is my nails. I have other stuff I need to do anyway. What Not do you mean? Cleaning, scrub toilets. I gotta change the furnace filter. Some other stuff I gotta do. So we're going to have to go even shorter for those bottom shelves, right? I think I'm going to go grab one of those. It's basically the same. I think we're going to cut it how we cut it, and I think it just needs, you know, we're going to have to sand it down to straighten it, and then they should fit fine once it's sanded. Well, we're going to have to sand that end. What's wrong, Nick? I forgot my glasses. Don't you have any in here? No. You can wear mine. You look hot in mine. Gas time. Come here, Ella. Hi, girl. Hi, Ella. Oh, I love Coco, too. I love Coco, too, don't we? Hi, Ella. Hi, girl. Oh, you're so pretty, aren't you? Coco, it's just a bay. Hi. You want your belly scratches, girl? Hi. Yeah. I know. I see you. <laughs> nice, Rexies. Well, hi there. It's Brooke. I don't even know if I said that yet. <laughs> <laughs> but just taking the dogs out to the bathroom before we go on our little bit of a road trip There was tons of other dogs out here. So of course they were barking their heads off So they both pottied was hoping Coco would do a duty, but guess not So like I said before it's gonna be me Lincoln and Nick I got a couple pickups for some stuff I ordered and then we're gonna go out to supper and then go through this haunted drive through at a car dealership down there So we thought that would be pretty fun. It's not too far away and just a little something to do we got all the shelves cut and ready now I just have to sand and paint them and then Nick will texture and stuff like that tomorrow in the bathroom and we'll get it cocked so slowly but surely we are getting that bathroom done but we want to go have some fun I think this is the first time I've worn makeup in like two weeks I did not get my nails painted which was the other thing I wanted to do but took a little longer to do the shelves because we had to go get a saw and stuff from his dad but we got it all done <laughs> I just have to use the sander still smooth it all out so it's good to paint you know clean it sand it clean it and paint it so i'm gonna leave the dogs out here for a little bit more and then we're gonna get the road mm, these are for everybody and now i gotta make my burger <laughs> with my mayo and ketchup mm. that's what nicky got i'm leaving my simple cheese pickles and ketchup and here's all of our cheese. <laughs> oh, the T-Rex. 
Mom, do not do that. Dad, do not. Was it doing it? Go, Mike. Are you mad enough to do it with the windows down? Yours windows don't even roll all the way down, so it's not that bad. Oh, oh my God! Getting the bus down. Dude, this is sad. He's trying to figure out how much wrong. Yeah. I think that's just like a video. Are you okay, honey? Are you scared? Are you serious? I can't see where I'm going. I know, that's okay. We wouldn't open your window. I would have said it's because she wanted help. So I was like, you should open the door. Yeah, there's one over here. there it is sunday october 23rd i am getting ready to sand i do have a face mask out here in case i want to use that i got my glove got my sander and now i'm just doing like a smoothing i did have to do a little sanding yesterday with the rough just to make sure because we got a little crooked board and then another one had a little bit i need to get off so i have boards like specifically for you know top next next you know, all the way down or whatever. And so now I'm just gonna sand them all just so they're smooth and finished and then I'm gonna clean them. And then I don't know if I'll paint today or not, but that is the plan. I got tons of leaves blowing into the garage here, so I don't wanna like take forever, but that is what I'm gonna do now. I'll show you my sander here. So there's the sander. We borrowed that from Nick's dad. Here's my boards. This is the top, no, bottom, and then so on and then the top one i gotta remember what order they're in but they're just kind of rough you know i just want to smooth them out and then there's our little side braces and there's my gloves and mask and everything else so i'm gonna get to sanding and then we'll see where i go from there okay so i got all my boards set up to paint they're all sanded clean sanded and cleaned again i am going to to use one of these like foam rollers. I think that'll just be the easiest and I think the foam will go the nicest on the wood. And then this is what the guy told me. It's just the DuraClean kitchen and bath. I'm gonna paint the walls with this. And he said it would work good for the shelves too. So we are just going to use that. I got them like sitting on things so I can do the tops and the sides, do two coats and then I'll just flip them over and be able to do the bottom. I should really look at what's the top versus the bottom. We'll see here. So I'm gonna stir this, pour it, and get to work.
got the boys the cute little Halloween Happy Meals for fun. Well, and there was a good discount. Ooh, this one's like weird. Or maybe it's, there it is, now it's on the other side. And they're little pops, we haven't seen these in so long. So cute. We're having a fall storm, it just got done raining, but wow, it's still lightning out, isn't it, over there. Ooh, there's a big one. It's cool. Thought I'd just show you, but it is all wet. We rained pretty good, and then now it's just lightly thundering and lightning. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about having the steak strips with dumplings for <laughs> supper tonight, but it needs to be cooked in the crock pot for four to five hours. So I am just gonna cook the meat and get everything chopped up and then put it in my slow cooker and just put it in the fridge and then I'll just pop it on tomorrow. We're gonna do a little food prep here and then I have to figure out what we're actually eating for supper. <laughs> So I need a half a cup of beef broth, and I just have this bone, concentrate bone broth beef. Well, I figured it'll work the same. To make one cup, you need four teaspoons. I just have a half. That's all I need. So I'm just going to do two teaspoons. Mix it together here. My water is fairly hot. So there's my beef broth, and then now I'm going to get my celery ready. So you're supposed to use sirloin steak. I have, let me see if I can find the, I have a bottom, there we go, bottom round um, beef, bottom round steak, like these big strips. I just cut them in half. And then you're supposed to sprinkle them with pepper. Well, I accidentally, on purpose, I don't know. I opened it not thinking and sprinkled it with the like tab thing on that. So. Some of these are pretty peppery. So you're supposed to stick it, once they're cooked, into the crock pot here. So I'm going to pop out these few that are all cooked and highly peppered. Oh my gosh. And flatten out the rest here to get them to cook. And then I got a few more. Let's go. That one's good. So those are cooking. I got the celery and peppers cut. I'm gonna stick a few more in here and finish cooking that. And then I have mushroom to slice up and some soup to put in a bowl. And then we'll combine it in the crock pot and put it in the fridge for tomorrow.
Here's the steak and the sauce all ready for fridge. Definitely cook it for five hours tomorrow just because I have it in the fridge, but that's going to save me some time in the morning. So I got the beef mixture. It's been in here for about four and a half hours. I cranked it to high because after you drop tablespoonfuls of the meat mixture and sprinkle with parsley, it says cover and cook on high until toothpick inserted in a dumpling comes out clean. Do not lift the cover while cooking. About an hour. I'm going to set the timer for an hour. Got it on high, and hopefully when I prick the dumplings, I don't mess it up. <laughs> so here they are, all done. I think they're the fluffy ones, as Nick said, and I didn't think that was going to be enough food, so I did make some mashed potatoes, and we can either put butter and salt and pepper on them, or some of this stuff, so I we will let you know how it goes. Here it is, all dished up. Oh, it smells so good. Wow, that's a weird... Now, for those that don't know, there's going to be different Ew. Did you just lick my thing? Where's that camera? It's this weird colored in here. Are you a devil dog? <laughs> Where's Sissy? Lay down. Put your head down so I can see your sister. Put your head down. You get one star for just completing the mission. Go, go. No matter how long it takes you, you'll get two stars for completing that mission within 25 minutes, and you'll get three stars if you manage to complete it within 15. I see you. Now, those three stars can be used to upgrade your kits. <laughs> this can only be done once a week per mm. mission. However, it will reset every week, so you can just complete mm. the same mission over and over every single mm. week. Mommy, can we continue you? accumulating these stars? Well, hi there. It is Wednesday, October 26th, I think. So we had the, it's called steak strips and dumplings, and it was really good. The dumplings were like soft and kind of spongy, and then good thing I made the potatoes, otherwise that wouldn't have been nearly enough food. We finished it all off and had just little potatoes left, so the pups did have a few potatoes. It was good. It had good flavor. It kind of tasted like steak tips. If I've made those from the Magnolia cookbook. So it kind of had that same kind of flavor, but it was pretty easy and good. So it was just nice and something. The boys, I like scooped around the mushrooms for them when I was dishing it up but I like the mushrooms and then the celery and the pepper just kind of gave it a nice flavor so definitely one that I would make the dumplings were easy I just used like my cookie scoop for them and then just plopped them in there and I think I got six in there this is going to be the goodbye for vlogawini episode seven been a lot of days we've been doing all sorts of stuff um I hope you enjoyed the little haunted drive through that was fun and the new recipe and just hanging with the puppies and doing different things so be one more vlog weenie coming out we'll end it on halloween so you'll see that one in november so i got a few other videos that are going to come out after this one and before that one that's kind of my plan i'm excited to get into some christmas tier trays get the house decorated and everything like that so i hope you enjoyed this vlog as always please like subscribe and i will see you in the next one